Manufacturers are starting to do all-in-one controllers with ExpressLRS integrated. I have here one example, the Beta FPV drone, which has an ExpressLRS SPI receiver. I have here another example, a Happy Model drone, which also has an SPI ExpressLRS receiver. One of the cool things about ExpressLRS is that you have different ways to bind your receivers. You can do it wirelessly, you can do it through the flight controller, you can do it directly when it's booting. There are different ways. And even though both of these drones has SPI receivers, they use different methods or you need to use different methods to bind them. This one can bind Wi-Fi, which is my favorite way to bind an ExpressLRS receiver. But this one cannot. And the way that we're going to bind this is through Betafly. I'm going to show you that way today, so in case that you have a similar drone like this one or any other drone that doesn't have Wi-Fi connectivity and is using an SPI ExpressLRS, you're gonna know how to bind it using beta flight and some simple commands which is going to be very very easy so the first thing that i had to do was to go to the command line and issue the command express LRS rate equals zero this is going to set the package rate of the drone to 500 hertz which is what my radio has by default the drone comes with 50 hertz uh, and it's a factory default or factory setting. I have to change it to match my radio and then I can issue the bind RX command. I can bind it with the radio. I have it there and then we check that we are bound. You see here. And then the only one, the only thing that I have to make sure is that my channel mapping is correct. I normally use RETA and once that's in I have everything that I need here and I just need to change the modes so I have Armin on AUX1 I have angle mode uh, I want to start in acro mode so I, I just move this to the right my beeper is on the third one and then I add my pre-arm mode that's it from Betafly a couple of things that you have to keep in mind when you are binding this kind of receiver. Number one, you have to use the same frequency on the receiver and on the transmitter. In my case, I was, I'm using 2.4 gigahertz in both. Number two, you have to match that package rate that I mentioned in the beginning. Remember, this drone, for example, came with 50 megahertz as default. I had 500 in my radio and that number has to match. After that number matches, you can use different methods to bind. You can use the, the command line that I used. You can also go into the receiver tab and, cl and click on the bind button. It will do exactly the same thing as the command line. There is a third method that is to use the phrase, the the phrase that you use to bind. Let me pause one second here because I think I went too fast. In this third method, you can use the binding phrase into the CLI in order to put it into the drone and get it bound the next time that you boot. In order to do this, what I normally do is just to create a firmware. Normally, the way that I normally do with the ExpressLRS configurator, making sure that I have the correct binding phrase and then I just build this. If you see here during the building process you have this text here that is a unique identification. That is the phrase, the binding phrase that you're using in hex mode and that's what you're going to use in the command line of Betafly. We copy this into Betafly, you add it, you save it, and the next time that you start your drone, it's gonna be bound by the phrase. So hopefully this video show you something new today, something that is going to be useful for you. And glad that you were here. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye.